Sorry, sorry, you look pretty, pretty annoyed. Can you just sum up your feelings at the end of that game? Yeah, of course, annoyed and disappointed. Definitely, I expected something different. I, I hope before the game you can build on that um, performance and and the result from Chelsea. Um, so then it's very disappointed uh, with the, the way where we started the game. And then I think we did a long time everything to get back in the game. But I think uh, f um, we got a warning shot, almost penalty. Then in the build up we make a mistake and then we are not good in the rest defense. So yeah, that is disappointing. And you're following facts. And as I say, we did and we put a lot of effort in to return in the game. But then the, the brilliance, the movements in the box were not there, probably to get the equalize. And after the 2-0, you know, we break down. And yeah, so we have to do the things better. Simon. I mean, it felt like the, the lowest moment of the season. How do you get the guys back in and just reset them and afford the crucial move? Uh, I, I think, as I say, the way we started is no good. Uh, that is um, uh, that is poor. Is the first five minutes of the game, and especially against an opponent like today, yeah, a very good transition team. So yeah, you you give them the perfect circumstances, and so it shouldn't happen. Uh, but I think we did everything to uh, to return in the game, and we had a lot of attacks. And as I said, we didn't. Uh, Com came to a point to return in the game, although uh, we had the opportunities. Yeah. So, so often, Ellis this season you seem to take one step forward, then two back. How do you explain it being so accomplished on Wednesday against Chelsea, but then producing a performance without just the back in both cases? Uh, that is, of course, that is the, that is a question, but I think um, we have to always uh, be ready for the game and um, so yeah, I have to take the responsibility for that I have to prepare my team that they are ready for the game so yeah from from my point of view <laughs> is then very disappointed as the way we started so yeah, I have to do the things better so, so for Eric Bairns, though, once, when, once the players step over that line you know you can't win the game they have to be ready to start a goal here and for the ninth time they'll come Yeah, so we are really inconsistent, uh, and uh, uh, so we have um, we have the abilities to do it, uh, but you have to do it every game and every third day. Simon, under Martin, it's twice now this season that the supporters have very loudly cheered for him, been substitutes for him. He's not completed the most interesting Premier League team in two years. He's got 18 goals in two years for the club. It seems like the, the fans have lost confidence in playing. Yeah, <laughs> two weeks ago against Everton, he played a very good game. So um, yeah, he has um, absolutely the competences, uh, the abilities uh, to play. Uh, but uh, so I don't think it's fair to, uh, after a performance of this, to go to one player. No, uh, we as a group, uh, um, we failed altogether. No, it's <laughs> the worst thing is to lose the match. Jamie. Hi, Eric. You talk about being inconsistent. You often speak about the game of football. Yeah. Is it the definition of the game of football, being on those two, being consistent? So the fact that you're inconsistent, does that show sure the players around are not good enough to be that consistent on those two that you want? I think as a squad, uh, we are not good enough. To, to be consistent, and we have to work as a squad to improve that. Jamie. Uh, uh, how can you trust the Crystal Palace? Because from one week to the next, it's, it's so, so different. So on, on any given day, how can you trust that they're going to actually perform today? Well, as a group, we have to, to improve. <laughs> and in fact, we have to, uh, we have to get tougher. Uh, 
um, that we are ready for the game and f from, from the start. So I said it on Friday, hey, you can't in this league, it can't be uh, that you are not playing on the highest levels because you get killed. And that is what happened in the first five minutes. And then you follow in facts and especially against them, such a good transition team, uh, you, you make life easy for them and they have the perfect conditions to play in. And then you see the team fighting, battling, put a lot of effort in uh, for a long period to return in the game. Uh, but uh, it, it can't happen that you so easily concede a goal. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you.